So obviously the first three seconds of a video determines if you would like to stick around to my channel, so... Are you still here? Well, if you are, hello there! What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a foundation review slash demo slash try it on video for you guys because I have been breaking out. There is a Martian baby boomer activity happening on my face and especially on my left side of my face. And it's super annoying. I have been in the market to look for foundations that are good for my skin, that don't clog my skin, that don't make me break out. I came across this little foundation, Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil-Free Makeup with MicroClear Technology Blemish Treatment, tri treatment with Salicylic Acid. I was like, what? A foundation with acne medication? So I wanna give this little bad boy a little test. This is not a new foundation. It has been in the beauty industry for many, many years, but like nobody talks about it anymore and I wanna like give it a go because I've never given it a go. Okay, so if you wanna see what this little baby does for my skin, then please keep watching. If you haven't already, make sure you just subscribe and, wait, this is thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure to thumbs up the, to get a man video in Espanol, click aquí. So we are going to start by sanitizing our hands. Really, really, really important that your hands are clean before you touch your face. And then we are going to moisturize our skin. I have been loving this La Roche Posay Effaclor Anti-Perfection Unclogging Anti-Mark Anti-UV Corrective Moisturizer. I bought this when I was in Paris. I have been loving it. One, because it has SPF, and two, because it's very light on my skin and it's not greasy. I am going to prime my skin even though I am not a big primer person I'm still debating if I feel like primers make a difference or not I do think mattifying primers make a difference but there's some primers that I'm just like huh like what are they doing to my face today I am going to be using the hourglass mineral veil oil free primer I feel like this one just kind of like smooths my skin it doesn't do anything extra as far as like oil control or making my makeup last it just gives me a really nice canvas for me to apply my foundation because I don't want to mess too much with the formula of the foundation I want it to perform on its own the shade that I'm using is 40 Nude. I'm going to read to you guys what the website says about this foundation. Natural coverage for clearing breakouts. Meet the first and only liquid foundation formulated with MicroClear technology, scientifically shown to dissolve oil and help boost delivery of salicylic acid to the source of breakouts for fast results. Natural looking coverage for great use on oily combination and even sensitive skin types and won't clog pores. So it not only treats blemishes, it helps prevent emerging breakouts, control shine, and provides natural coverage with a breathing feel. It's available in 14 shades. So I'm going to go in with one layer of the foundation and I'm going to do one side with my little beauty blender from Real Techniques and then I'm going to do another side with this little foundation brush that I like to use from IT Cosmetics. It's one of my favorite brushes. Okay, so one thing I don't like about this foundation is that it doesn't have a pump. Come on, people. It's time to put pumps on every foundation bottle. I'm going to start with this much foundation. Okay. Oh! I think this is matching my skin very well. I think I need a little bit more. See, this is why I hate this. I don't know if it's the primer or my skin, but I am seeing like the dry patches on my skin right here. I feel like the foundation kind of sitting on my face really weird. It's bringing out a lot of texture right here where I do have some breakouts and it's bringing out a lot of dry patches on my nose right here. It does have a very light to medium coverage because you can still see a few of the blemishes kind of peek through here. I'm gonna go with the sponge on this side. I don't think it's giving me like that much of a better coverage with the sponge. I still see a lot of texture on my skin. My dry patches is still kind of peeping through. <clears throat> Let's do another layer and see what happens. Okay, so that is another layer on my skin. I definitely think you need two or one very hefty layer to really cover all the imperfections in your skin. I really, really am not enjoying how it's really bringing out texture on my skin. There is a lot of texture happening here 
which I normally don't get this issue with a lot of my foundations. Kind of sitting on my skin really weird. One thing that I do that I highly do not recommend you guys doing was I apply this foundation over my eyes. Don't do that because it does have salicylic acid and it's going to dry up the skin around your eyes. So I would say stay away from doing that. That was my mistake, I'm sorry. I am going to go ahead and finish up my foundation. I'm going to set it with powder and I'm gonna come back and kind of show you guys how it all looks. All right, so I just finished off my makeup and the most bizarre thing is happening. I don't know if it just takes a little bit of time for the foundation to kind of melt into the skin, but I feel like the longer I had the foundation on, the better it started looking on the skin, especially after I set it with powder. I used the MAC Mineralized Skin Finished powder in the shade light. Zoom you in again. Skin looks so much better after I set it with powder and I kind of let my makeup, um, the dry patches are not as visible anymore on my nose and the texturized things happening over here, they're kind of like not even there anymore. But I did not set my face yet with any setting spray. So I just wanted to show you guys what my skin looks like before I set it with a setting spray. So. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna set my face with the Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray, the bridal version. I love the setting spray. I'm pretty much done. It's like down to here. I've had this bottle for probably over a year and a half, which, yeah. Uh, I love the setting spray. It gives my skin a really beautiful, flawless finish. Flawless? Flawless finish. So after I set my makeup, um, my skin still looks pretty flawless. It just looks a little bit more kind of glowy and hydrated because of the spray. I'm going to go ahead and wear this makeup for the rest of the day and see how it holds up. Um, it is currently, it's currently 3.50 and I actually had the foundation on around 3.15. So I'm gonna wear this out through the entire day as long as I can. And I'm gonna come back in and check in with you guys and see how this foundation wore. All right guys, so it is now much, much later. Super exhausted. 10:30 at night, which is about my bedtime. Grandma over here needs her beauty sleep. Okay. Had this foundation for about seven hours. Everything is pretty good here on the forehead. Nothing crazy happening. I did notice that um, because I had put foundation over my eyes, my concealer. I don't know if you can tell. It started creasing at the bottom here more than it normally would. And I was using my normal like NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer that normally doesn't do this creasing. So the foundation actually started separating around my nose area here, and it started getting really cakey. So you can see right here, like my nose area, it started getting really, really cakey, and the foundation started to kind of like separate and like get into those nasty little cracks. I don't know if it was the powder, but the powder that I use, I normally use used it with all my other foundations that I've been using for um, the longest time and it doesn't do that. I did notice that my skin is looking very textured like right here and it sunk into my smile lines which I don't like. So it popped out a lot of the texture here after the fact. Um, as far as feel goes like I don't feel oily like my skin didn't get super oily like I didn't granted I didn't go outside and do anything crazy outdoors today I was actually home all day I was filming and I ate I did house stuff so um, I didn't give it like an outdoors wear test but I don't think it's bad the way it looks I just feel like my skin shows a lot of imperfections with this foundation I just used this foundation for a few days and see if it does this um, creasing and this like cakiness happening but yeah, as far as far first impression goes, I think it's a good foundation. I don't think it is the best foundation that I've ever used. So today is another day. It's the day after yesterday. And I decided to give the foundation another go. Oh, this camera's so heavy. I don't like this foundation at all. It's literally not flattering my skin at all in person. It really brings out all of the texture of my skin. And today I didn't use any primer. I just moisturized my skin because I thought maybe the primer was causing the problems. Definitely not the primer. You'll notice like it's still kind of seeping in right here in my nose area and it cracks like around my smile lines. And honestly, up close and personal, it looks really dry and cakey and like, it's just not cute. Don't love this foundation. Would I recommend it? It's not a bad foundation, it's just not didn't do really well on me so it depends on your skin type it might work a little bit better those are my thoughts on the foundation this might be a foundation that i go to whenever i do have breakouts because it has salicylic acid in it it might be like a good benefit to use this foundation when i'm breaking out so let me know if you guys have tried this foundation and also let me know what skin type you have and if you had had the same 
situations that happen to me in my face. Guys, so that is it for today's video. Let me know what other foundation I should try on next. I am a total foundation junkie, so I want to take your recommendations and use them as an excuse to go to CVS and get myself a new foundation. And I am exhausted. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.